All right, I am going to do a reception video uh, with my three antennas uh, that I have set up. And uh, many of you know that I live in a condo, so I'm kind of limited on uh, the type of uh, antenna I can run. Uh, so I, I live in Hawaii, and I have uh, a lanai out here that I'm able to uh, set uh, my antennas out on. And, uh, you know, as long as they're set up temporarily and I can bring them in. Uh, so that's why I've been experimenting with antennas and trying to see what uh, uh, is working out best. And uh, so I am going to use the uh, C-Crane uh, Skywave SSB2. Uh, and I am going to uh, start out with uh, the uh, MLA30 Plus uh, antenna. And I have it run out of my Lodi right now. And I've got a couple uh, channels that are coming in pretty good. I've got uh, uh, China Radio International and uh, uh, New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand uh, International. Uh, that comes in really good. And I'm going to use those uh, and show you the difference in the three antennas that I got. So I'm going to start out with the MLA30+. Plus. Uh, then I'm going to switch to the new... Uh, GA800 uh, that I also have run out on the uh, uh, on the lanai. Uh, I did try to use this inside. Uh, you can uh, hook it right up to the uh, top and leave the antenna on there. Uh, it did not work very well. Uh, it did not work very well inside, which isn't surprising. Uh, and then thirdly, I am going to uh, uh, hook up the uh, Radio Shack uh, amplified shortwave antenna and uh, clipped onto it. I do have a uh, magic wand uh, antenna uh, that I also have uh, out on, on the lanai, and uh, you can, you know, just uh, obviously tell the difference yourself uh, between the three. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the radio, and I am going to start. This is the MLA30 Plus. And this is China Radio International. All right, so I am going to take this one out now. That, of course, is with no antenna. And now I'm going to plug in the GA800. Alright, I'm going to make the last switch now. You can tell that one had quite a bit more noise to it uh, than the MLA30+. Plus. And now my last one will be the uh, Radio Shack uh, shortwave amplified antenna with the uh, magic wand uh, clipped onto it.
All right, so out of those three, uh, I would definitely put the MLA 30 Plus uh, number one. I think the uh, Radio Shack uh, uh, amplified shortwave antenna with the uh, magic wand clipped to it uh, was in second. I think there's slightly less noise, and in last would be the GA800. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, do these in reverse order now, and I'm going to switch the radio station over to uh, uh, Radio New Zealand uh, International. So that's Radio New Zealand with the Radio Shack amplified uh, shortwave antenna with the uh, magic wand clipped onto it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch it out and I'm going to put the G8800. Now lastly, I'm going to uh, switch out and put in the uh, MLA 30 Plus. All right, so I think it's pretty clear that the uh, MLA 30 Plus uh, is the winner here. Um, one other thing I wanted to add uh, is that uh, I am uh, doing this uh, test here at uh, just about 11 o'clock uh, at night, so it's 10.54 right now, Hawaii Standard Time. Uh, and uh, I, I definitely do get better reception as the night goes on. Uh, but uh, this, uh, the MLA 30 Plus is the clear winner here. Um, and I was really actually kind of hoping that the uh, uh, GA800 uh, would have done better. It is, it's a smaller antenna. Uh, it's a little bit easier uh, to handle, definitely, because it, it's more solid and it's quite a bit smaller. So uh, uh, the magic wand still actually does a pretty good job uh, with the uh, Radio Shack amplified antenna. The magic wand itself out there is uh, basically a uh, uh, like a one inch PVC pipe uh, that's about two and a half inches long, uh, two and a half feet long, uh, and then the wire comes in and I just clip it, clip it on here. Um, and uh, that's what I use by itself. The magic wand uh, it doesn't do as well unless it's hooked up to the uh, uh, the Radio Shack uh, amplified antenna.
So there you have it. I am going to do another one of these, uh, and I will try to do it with my uh, Radio Shack DX394 and uh, see if that uh, is any different. Uh, but uh, from what I've been testing and doing, uh, the results uh, are probably going to be pretty similar. All right. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, anything, put it in the comments, and I'll uh, try to get to them and answer you. Or if you have any comments or uh, have either of these antennas and you found out the same thing, just let me know. Thank you. Aloha.